stay out of the spider web. That is for all of us. That is for the body of Christ. This message is a prophetic warning to all of us. And Jesus told his disciples that. We're going to go into the Word in just a few moments. Thank you for being with me today. And, and it's just a joy to bring forth the Word of God. Uh, thank you for making your comments uh, in praying. Let's pray before we start into the Word. Father, I thank you for this opportunity. I thank you for your love. I thank you for your grace and mercy. I thank you for pouring out upon us your spirit today. Lord, let us hear what the spirit would say unto the church this day in Jesus' name. Lord, we, we yield our vessels to you. I yield, I open up my heart, I open up my ears, I open up my mind that I might hear what the Spirit is saying to me this day in Jesus' name. I bind up every hindering force, uh, every distraction, every uh, uh, enemy uh, tool that would try to come and hinder this video in any way in the name of Jesus. And I praise you and I thank you for your, your mighty power coming to us in this time. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. You know, deception is a tool of the enemy that tries to come to distract us, cause us uh, to be disobedient, uh, to uh, hinder us in hearing the words of the Lord, to come and, and to deter us or to divert us uh, into another pathway. The Lord wants us to follow the path of righteousness and holiness. Can you say amen? Let's lay some foundation before we get into the core of this message. In Matthew 24, in verses 4, in verses 5, in verse 11, and in verse 24, Jesus talks much to his disciples, to you and I today, about deception. That is the spider well. And Jesus answered and said to them, Take heed, that no one deceives you. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will deceive many. Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. For false Christ and false prophets will rise and show great signs and wonders in order to deceive, if possible, even the very elect. So, we are warned. We are warned by the Spirit of God about not getting caught up in the spider web. The spider wants us to be confused. He wants us not to be able to do the will of the Father. He wants us to do the evil things. But praise God, this word, the word of God, is going to put light on this spider web. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. You know, it also says in 1 Corinthians 3.18, Let no one deceive himself. If anyone among you seems to be wise in this age, let him become a fool that he may become wise. And then in Galatians 6, 7, it says, Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a person sows, that he will also reap. If you are sowing judgment, you're going to reap judgment. If you're sowing the bad seed, you're going to receive bad seed. If you're sowing good seed, you're going to receive good seed. Hallelujah. And I'll just throw this out. It, 
It's not um, costing any more. Hallelujah. Um, and that is the Lord spoke uh, to us uh, a few days ago and said that when we increase, He increases. So when we sow love, we're going to get more love. When we sow finances, we're going to get more finances. Oh, hallelujah. If you, if you need healing, sow healing. Increase your prayer for healing. Increase your prayers uh, for deliverance. Increase your prayers uh, for revelation of the word. And what are you going to get? You're going to get more yourself. He's going to increase it in you. He's going to increase that healing in you. He's going to increase your finances. He's going to increase your revelation of the word of God. Praise God. So when we increase, he increases. Woo! Hallelujah. In James 1.26, if any among you thinks he is religious and does not bridle his tongue, but deceives his own heart, this one's religion is useless. Now I'm going to get to that. I'm going to get to the tongue in a few moments. In Second Thessalonians two three, let no one deceive you by any means, for that day will not come unless the falling away comes first, and the man of sin is revealed, and the son of perdition. So this great falling away that's coming. It's people that have fallen into the spider web. They've gotten caught up in the things of this life. They've got caught up in sin. They've got caught up in all the things, evil things. So we're not to get into that trap. Now, let's go. Why do people get caught up into the spider web? First John 2, 15 through 17, gives us an answer to this question. Do not love the world or the things of the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, now listen to this, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. Now I'm going to go back over those three things again. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world is passing away, and the lust of it, but he who does the will of God will abide forever. Oh, hallelujah. So we are to resist. It says, submit yourself unto God in the book of James. Submit yourself unto God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Submit yourself unto God. Some people are not doing that. They're trying to resist the devil in their own flesh. Flesh cannot put down flesh. We are not to wrestle with our own flesh, and we're not to wrestle with anybody else's flesh. Woo! Hallelujah. Proverbs 6, 2. You are snared. Now, this word right here, this is the very first word from the Lord that I received from another person. Our pastor of 11 years, Brother J.C. Stuttered. This word, we were talking, Brother Fred and I were talking with him, and he, he gave me this word. You are snared by the words of your mouth. You are taken by the words of your mouth. I told you I was going to get to the tongue. Stop talking. Why do people get into the spider web? They talk, 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 talk. The words that come out of your mouth can snare you, can put you into the spider web. 
And that's what I was doing. Snared by the words of your mouth. The enemy does not know where you are until you open your mouth. And when you're speaking the word of God, he knows that you're with the Lord. And when you're speaking carnally, when you're speaking things of the world, when you're speaking judgment over people, when you're speaking gossip, when you're speaking all evil and corrupt communication, the enemy knows where you are. And can bring you into the spider web. Whoo, hallelujah. I do believe that this message is having an impact even right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I believe that your mind is being renewed uh, to what the Word of God says. And I believe that your heart is receiving. Whoo, Isaiah 42 22. But this is a people robbed and plundered. All of them are snared in holes. They are hidden in prison houses. For they are prey and no one delivers for plunder. And no one says, restore. Oh, I say restore today, Lord. Restore healing to people read that are watching. Restore salvation. Restore the joy of our salvation. Restore the finances that have been stolen uh, by all evil manner in the name of Jesus. Cars breaking down. Uh, the need for this and the need for that. Oh, let me say this to you, that all of your needs are provided uh, by Jehovah Jireh, the God that makes provision for you. Hallelujah. Stay out of the spider web. This is the year of deliverance that was spoken on New Year's Day at the prophetic conference that, that we were involved with uh, and participating in. Uh, this is the year uh, that God is delivering and God is keeping people out of the spider web. Why do you think that I am bringing forth this message today. It's not something that I just thought of on the top of my head. And I thought, oh, well, that'll be a good message to bring. No. This is a prophetic warning to all of us to stay out of the spider web and be not deceived. In 1 Peter 5, 5 through 6, Likewise, you younger people, submit yourself to the elders. Yes, all of you be submissive one to another and be clothed with what? Humility. So what is another thing that brings us into the spider web is pride. Thinking that you can do it on your own. On your own. Ignoring what the Holy Spirit is telling you to do. Disobedience. All of these things. Bring a person into pride. And when they get into pride, then the spider can take them into the web. Into his territory. The spider web is his territory. We want to stay in God's territory. Hallelujah. We want to stay humble before the Lord. God resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. We need that grace. Grace is not just undeserved favor. It is operational power. Can you say amen? The grace of God is what you stand in. The grace of God is how you move and, and the ability to move and the ability to do uh, the kingdom work. It's the grace of God. How do we travel? Uh, all over the world. It's the grace of God. How do we do the things that we do? It is the grace of God. Hallelujah. Therefore, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time. Oh, hallelujah. First John 1, 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins 
and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So sin and unrighteousness will put you into the spider web. Mm, mm, mm. But when we know that we've sinned, when we've not said the right thing or we've not done uh, the right thing, then we can go to the Father and we can confess our sins. That's what First John 1, 9 just said. We can confess our sins before him and he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sin and to take us out of the spider web. But if we just let unforgiveness uh, stay in our heart, if we just keep uh, looking at pornography, if we just keep doing things that we're not supposed to be doing, uh, judging others, and and it just uh, that word judgment just keeps coming up in me. Uh, in the name of Jesus, if you have judged anyone, and I just, I'm going to start with myself. Father, if I have judged anyone, I ask you to forgive me and to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. In the name of Jesus. Because Matthew 7, 1 says, Judge not, lest you be judged. Mm, 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 mm. Hosea 4, 6. Remember what we're going to do? We're going to keep uh, our mouth shut. Unless the Lord wants to speak something out of our mouth. Woo! Hosea 4, 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So we've gone over here. We've gone over uh, uh, pride. We've gone over um, sin in our in our lives. We did right here. This is a lack of knowledge. So what does that tell me? It tells me that there's, I, I don't know it all. And you don't know it all. And the, the lack of knowledge, because you have rejected knowledge, I also will reject you from being a priest for me, because you have forgotten the law of God. But you see, we can do something about that. We can do something about this scripture right here, and that is we can study to show ourselves approved, workmen that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we're also put in that trap by our words, by what we're saying. We're to speak the word only. Now, how do we avoid the trap? That's what we want to get to tonight or today. How to avoid that spider web. Eight, John 8, 32 says, You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. In every situation, you need to ask the Lord by the Spirit of God to show you the truth. Reveal the truth. Reveal the truth to me about this situation. Reveal the truth about my body. Reveal the truth about what I'm thinking on. Believe. Reveal the truth about every situation in my life. And he will do that. He will give you his word on it, which is the truth. And it will set you free of the spider web. Hallelujah. Proverbs 4, 7. Wisdom is the principal thing. You know, he will give you wisdom. If you ask for it, he will give it to you. An outpouring of his wisdom he will give to you. Hallelujah. He will give it to you liberally. And it's the wisdom of God that helps us deal with the affairs of this life. It's not my wisdom. It's not earthly wisdom. It's not how much I know or how many books I've read or how many schools I've gone to or how many certificates I've gotten. No. It's not based on my credentials. It is based on the wisdom of God that comes through the Spirit of God to you and to me. 
Therefore, get wisdom. And in all of that, get understanding. We need understanding, remember? Remember, that's one thing that, that puts a person in the spider web is the lack of knowledge. Oh, oh, dear Jesus, let's get a hold of this message today. Be not deceived. Be not deceived. You know, it says in, the, in James 1, 22, that if we're doers of the word and not hearers only, we will not be deceived. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. So if we're doers of the word, oh, I believe in healing. Well, are you praying for people to be healed? Are you laying hands on people to be healed? Are you going to the hospital? Are you going to those places, the recovery homes? Oh, I believe in deliverance. Well, who have you delivered today? Be a doer of the word. A lot of people just want to gather knowledge. Oh, I want to hear another sermon. I want to hear another message. Oh, let me tell you something. Oh, I need another a prophetic word given to me. No, you need to be doing the prophetic words that have already been spoken over you. In the name of Jesus. Be a doer of the word. And then in Joshua 1, 1a it says, Think on the word all the time, day and night. Meditate. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. Listen to that. But you shall meditate on it day and night. That you may observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then you will make your way prosperous. And then you will have good success. This is what he told Joshua. This is what he told you and I today. This is what he's saying to us today. Think on the word. When you start thinking on other things, especially carnal things... That will take you into the spider web and you will get depressed and you will get diverted and you will get distracted and you will get discouraged if you go there. If you go and you think on those things. Oh, you know, that's the Israelites. When they got into trouble in the desert, they kept thinking about, oh, we had garlic and, and leeks uh, back there in Egypt. We just need to return to Egypt. What they... What the enemy didn't tell them or made them think on was the the beatings and the and the bruising and the wounds uh, that they got from their taskmasters. All they all the enemy brought to them was, "Oh, don't you remember the garlic and the leeks?" But let me tell you something. We're going to think on the Lord. We're going to think on things that are pure and holy and of good report. We're going to think on the Word. We're going to meditate on the Word. Oh, hallelujah. And when that takes root in us, praise God, then that will keep us out of the spider web. Hebrews 5.14 But solid food belongs to those who are full age. Those that who by reason of use have their senses Spiritual senses exercise to discern both good and evil. We're going to stay out of the spider web by having experienced the Word of God. Some of you have not experienced it. You just read it. Oh, I study every day. I do my devotion every day. I do it for, for this amount of time every single day. Oh, I pray a certain amount of time every day. No, I am talking about it becoming life to you. I'm talking about it being a part of you and in you and that you're a doer of that word. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want people to come out of the spider web. And I don't want them to ever get into the spider web. I want them to avoid the traps of the enemy. I don't want them to be snared in holes. I don't want them to be snared by the words of their mouth. I said that this was a prophetic warning to all of us. Be not deceived. 
Don't let any person deceive you and don't be deceived by your own self. Don't let the doctors deceive you. Don't let the, 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 the workplace deceive you. Don't let other ministers deceive you. And one last scripture I want you to think about. That's in Romans chapter 8, verse 14. And that is that you are one of God's sons and you are led by the Spirit of God. You are led by His Spirit. You know, before we end, let's just think about this example in the Word of God of a person who went into the spider web, and that was Samson. Starting in Judges chapter 14, all the way through 16, we see a man who fell into pride. His parents said um, he went down and, and he met Delilah. And he came back and he told his parents about Delilah. It says, now Samson went down to Timia and saw a woman of the daughters of the Philistines. So he went up and told his father and mother saying, I have seen a woman of the daughters of the Philistine. Now, therefore, get her for me as a wife. And what they said to him was, cannot you choose uh, from your own uh, people? Uh, a wife. They were trying to tell him, this is not for you. This is not what you need to be doing. But he thought he knew more than his parents did. And so he said, no, no, this is who I want. But then we find that in Judges 16, when he begins to lay in her lap, begins to be part with her. And the lords of the Philistines came to her and said to her, Entice him or bring deception to him. Lure him into the spider web. Lure him and find out where his strength lies. That by what means we can overpower him. and That we can bind him and afflict him. And every one of us will give 11 pieces of silver. Oh, she was paid. She was paid to deceive him. She was paid to entice him. But you see, he offered him. He, he got over into enemy territory. With pride, with his words, with, with sin. With lack of knowledge. And it came to pass when she pestered him daily with her words and pressed him that she vexed his soul. She vexed his soul. Oh, this is carnal, people. The soul is in the carnal realm unless it is renewed by the Spirit of God. Unless you renew your mind by the Spirit of God and to the Word of God, it's going to be carnal. And the carnal mind is an enemy to God. And it puts you into the spider web. And so he told her. He told her everything. He told her where his strength lies. Remember, I said, watch your words. The enemy will, cannot does not know where you are until you open your mouth. Then the Philistines took him and put out his eyes. What did they put out first? They put out his seeing that he could not see any longer where he was or who he was or what the enemy was doing. Do you hear me? And brought him down to Gaza. They bound him with, with fetters and he became a grinder in the prison. Until verse 28. Until he confessed his sins to the Lord. Then Samson called out to the Lord and said, 
Here I see repentance. Here I see humility. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Lord God, remember me, I pray. Strengthen me. I pray just this once, oh God, that I may with one blow take vengeance on the Philistines for my two eyes. And he brought down the house. He brought down the pillars. It took his life. But you see, that's what it takes. We give our life for his life. We give ourselves that we might be vessels of honor to work in the kingdom of God. We give ourselves away. And that's what Samson did. He, he got out of the spider web. But we don't want to even get into the spider web. Lord, we thank you for deliverance today. I thank you for deliverance from fear, from anger, from anxiety, from pain, for all evil things that the enemy has tried to do to us and for putting out the eyes of your of the people that love you and that are your people, Lord. I ask that you bring sight to the blind. I ask that you bring revelation to those that need to know who you are and who they are in Christ Jesus. Father, I pray for those who have issues and pain in their joints right now that you are putting, pouring in the oil. He's pouring in the oil right now into your muscles and into your joints, your elbows, your, your neck, your knees, uh, your feet. God is pouring the oil over you in the name of Jesus right now. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, you're bringing deliverance to people right now. Deliverance uh, from oppression. Deliverance from from um, being uh, caught in, in the trap of the enemy. Right now, you're releasing them in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Receive your healing today. Receive deliverance today. Receive your salvation today in the name of Jesus. God bless you and thank you for watching.